like this is gonna make it really easy to do ASMR. Hi guys, welcome back to another video on My Size Magpie, a channel that is all about body positivity, plus size fashion, thrifted fashion, where we can as plus people. It's tough. And today I was actually gifted this wonderfully cute package from a plus size focused vintage seller on Instagram from Salem Slump Vintage. And I will pop a little screenshot of her account over here. Um, I was talking on my stories about how it was a struggle to find sustainable options as a plus size woman. And she DM'd me and was like, hey, I have like, I totally know the feels. I have a vintage shop that is literally all about plus size fashion. And she wanted to send me some stuff and I was like, yes. Yeah. And so I am so excited. I have not opened it up yet. If you want to see how these vintage items look, then stay tuned. If you like thrifted, vintage, plus size fashion, uh, I would love it if you would subscribe. There's gonna be videos every Sunday, probably around noon PST. This is just the start of many. So I'm really excited. I'm excited, I'm worried. Because, you know, vintage generally like runs small. I gave her my sizing and like my measurements and everything. So I, I have a lot of confidence in her, but it's still scary, especially when it's like, I mean, it's scary, it's exciting. I love getting surprises. I don't wanna pick anything. <laughs> like I just want someone to be like, this is gonna work for you, you're gonna like this. And I'm like, yes, I love that. When I say I haven't opened it, I, I ain't joking, bitch. I'm not joking, bitch. Oh, there's a lot of goodies in here. There's a lot of goodies. Look, oh, look how cute this sticker is. Salem Sump Vintage. Thanks for supporting my small biz and shopping sustainably. Yay! Stormy, you have a friggin' cool name. Okay, so I'm just gonna grab whatever's up top. Ooh, this is like my birthday, Christmas. Ooh. Is this, is this a sweater? Tell me it's a sweater. It's a sweater. Oh my god! <laughs> Kidding me right now? This is beautiful. It's a little itchy, but you know what? We're gonna live with it. It is by JT Beckett. It's in an XL. It has these super fun little like diamonds on it. Kind of like cinched at the sleeve and on the bottom, which makes it really nice and easy to tuck into jeans. Just saying. We're off to a fantastic start, Stormy. I'm not gonna lie to you. We are here for this delicious sweater. And it is every granddad dream. I'm obsessed. It goes down full, it's like here. We're not gonna wear it like that. I probably fully tuck it into my jeans. She is, it is, it is itchy, but it's not unbearable. I'd probably wear like a t-shirt underneath. Right now I'm just wearing like a sports bra. So like a t-shirt would just help alleviate that a little bit, but it's a great length, super comfy, cozy, great for holiday time. Ugly sweater, but make it like actually super cute. I love it, I love it so much. It's beautiful. Oh, you wanna go out now? Go on then. Are you in or are you out? Love you, bye. The excitement isn't stopping. It just keeps going. Okay, next. Ooh, oh, all right. Is this? Okay, we have another sweater, but look. Look at this little crisscross with the little, did she upcycle it? Cause I, I can't imagine that this, I mean, it's a, it's a vintage sweater. Can you see the little tang? It is from Aftershock and it's got this super cool crisscrossy with like the leopard print on it. That just makes it look so chic. Oh, it's so cute. I love sweaters. I only wear sweaters. I put this on because I wanted to look nice for you guys. But now I can look nice and wear sweaters. It's gonna look super cute. I feel like even under a dress, my green emerald dress, I feel like this would look super cute underneath it. I'm so excited. Sweater number two. This one is much thinner, which will be good for Arizona. I'll be able to get a bit more wear out of it. But look at how pretty, like, the little design is. 
Again, big and comfy. It's very long, probably like used to be elasticated down here, but now it's very loosey goosey. So I would, again, probably tuck it into my jeans. Oh, I love it. It's so comfy. I love the mock neck. Everything. Everything is perfection. I feel like I could wear this and it's like more elevated than just wearing one of my normal sweatshirts. <laughs> Navy and brown and black and beige. So you can literally wear anything with it. I'm excited about the options. Big fan. I'm getting too excited. I'm like literally like ripping it open like a zombie. Look at this. This is from Kathy Lee Woman. It's an 1820. <sighs> It's a vest! Oh my god! Look at it! Look at it! Look at it! Are you looking? It's so pretty! It's got these like gorgeous little flower details and then it has little like beads on the flowers. Oh, it's so pretty! I was, not ex I was not expecting it to be a vest. I thought, you know, maybe a, a cardigan, which I was here for, but a vest? No ma'am, and it is so soft. Oh, it's so freaking cute. The the possibilities are endless and I cannot wait. I don't care if it doesn't fit, it's gonna fit. It's gonna fit. I'm manifesting it to fit because it is so pretty. Here's the beautiful sweater vest and it fits beautifully. Everything's beautiful about the sweater vest. Can you see like the Little details, it's so pretty. A very slight scoop neck, and I love that. I'm thinking of all the things that I wanna wear under it. Uh, let's see how it would look, hold on. Okay, here is it with it like fully tucked in, and it is just as cute. I envisaged it, Envis envis as I thought it would be. Like this with like a cute little belt, like my black belt with the gold little buckle would be a total look it's so cute Ooh, oh is this a skirt what is this what are you i feel shoulder pads oh is it a dress i think it could be a dress oh look at how pretty it's like this green and purple i don't know the words to describe it not crepe but you know like I wanna say like a xyl, not a xylophone. What am I trying to say? Uh, 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 uh. This is from Epix. It's got shoulder pads and that's all I really care about. I'm sure it's probably meant to be a top, but I feel like it would make a really fierce mini dress, but we'll see how long it is on me. It's a great layering piece. I could wear tights with it, but then I could also wear it in the summertime, which is 99% of the year here, and we're still gonna be good, which I'm glad that I have that option because so far, it's been pretty winter heavy. This is a great transitional piece. All right, next is the dress. Is it a dress? Is it a t-shirt? I'd say it, it hits out a really nice, like, mini dress skirt to the lake. This is probably how I would wear it. It is super soft and, like, breezy. If you didn't see the pattern very well before, you can kind of see. I love the shoulder pads. I think it gives it some structure. Yup, yup, yup. So cute with a pair of like white booties. Little heeled booties would be so cute with this. Yeah, I like this a lot. All right, last item. I don't wanna like hype it up too much because you know, expectations are ridiculously high right now. Ooh, we got another black and white moment. Is this pants? Is this a skirt? Ooh. It's a skirt. Bold to do a skirt. Oh wow. I'm I'm praying it's gonna work. I f I'm scared. I'm cautiously optimistic. It is from C.E. Stanton. She's dry clean only. That might be tough. Oh, but it's so pretty though. Dear clothing gods, please let this skirt fit because it's really cute and I really want it to work and it's like so winter perfect and I just want it to work, okay? All right, I'm gonna try these on. And here is the final item. Is it a, it's like a mid, a mid axi? I don't know what the term is. It's pretty long. I would almost be tempted because I love the pattern of it 
to take it up to be a mini skirt because that would be super cute and it's already got kind of the pleats in it. I think the long is just like kind of outside my comfort zone and I don't really know how to style it. <laughs> but the fabric is really gorgeous. It fits in my waist. I got scared. I got scared for a minute that it wouldn't happen, but it happened and it is super cute. I mean, I feel like there is definite life that I can give this because like look at, oh, like if it was that length, yes. I might see if I can get it tailored or if my mom can do it. <laughs> when in doubt, ask mom. This was a 10 out of 10, guys. This was a 10 out of 10. All right, that was everything that I got from Salem Sump Vintage. And honestly, I am so impressed. I did not expect everything to fit as well as it did. I'm obsessed with everything. I cannot wait to style them. They all have like very fun, kind of unique vibes to them. And I feel like I could build really fun outfits around them. So check out my Instagram if you wanna see how I style them. My Instagram is my size magpie, the same as here. And let me know what you think. What was your favorite? Was there anything that you're like, meh? Would you shop in one of these kind of places where it's vintage, but online? like? Etsy or whatever. I know it can be really scary <laughs> when you can't try things on, but does this help? Does this make you feel better about it? I hope it does. I love vintage shopping, but it intimidates me so much. <laughs> so especially right now when trying on stuff still isn't always possible to just like send someone your measurements and be like, give me what you got and I would 100% do this again. So thank you Stormy so much for sending me all of these items. I'm obsessed with them all. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, I would be ever so grateful if you could subscribe as well as push the little notification bell so you're alerted every single time that I make a post. I will be posting every single Sunday. We'll have more plus size fashion, plus vintage, plus thrifted. Uh, thank you so much and I will see you next week. Okay, bye. I love you. Bye.